Hey everybody, look at this picture right now. If you're uh, new to my channel and realize that it's not my intention to bully or harass people online, I simply just state my opinion from the beginning to end. So please don't be a carrier and judge how I make my videos and please subscribe if you're interested in my personality and the content that I talk about. So that being said, um, I have to make that disclaimer for all my new viewers out there, but for all my loyal fans, I'm going to get straight to the point with this video because I'm already one day late already. And I know that's like early still, but I like to make... Uh, videos as soon as possible because therefore i'm gonna get like the most amount of views if i do so so um i'm learning how youtube works so basically i'm gonna be talking about shane dawson and ryan adams um and their whole vlog that was actually the number one trending video on youtube like i can post a screenshot right here right now um to tell you that when i was watching it it was like number one trending it still could be number one trending right now but it's already been a day and usually the youtube like algorithm page like um literally allows the number one um trending video to be there for only like a day or two so that's why i'm making this video now because it's already been a day so as the topic is still new and fresh and i'm i looked on youtube and there was like nobody that made videos about it like right away and i was like shocked because this was like all over the news and it was like in the, the end of last year in like december um when they first announced that they had two twin boys um it was literally all over the news like it was all over the mainstream news and everything so i'm shocked that like um nobody really has been talking about it so i had like i made a video when they announced it and i was like the first one that put a video out so hopefully i'm the first one um out now because i literally saw like none but if i'm not that's fine but literally um so i gained like 15 subscribers from that one video i think and that was like from the shane dawson and rylan adams fans so i don't just talk about like um uh video games or like other like i talk about like anything that interests me so i owe it to those 15 subscribers that subscribe to me because i really do love shane dawson and rylan adams i've been watching them literally like i've said for like at least five years so when they announced that they were having twin boys my heart was like going crazy because like i love them a lot and even though like i've made some videos about them that i like question their behavior it doesn't mean that i hate them it's just i don't know like i'm just that like i'm a twink i'm a fanboy whatever you want to call me i just like i don't have issues it's just like i keep it real but like i just like it's a new generation like there's not many people out there in the world that are like me so like i'm doing this youtube thing to make people realize of you know there's not just like the typical like gay like there's different types of gays and i just happen to see that you know problematic twink whatever you want to fucking call me i don't know i've been thinking of changing my username to like psycho gay boy or something like that just for fun like because you know um i i don't know like what to do because like i love my username psyche gay boy but i also like the name psycho gay boy because like that's my personality i'm just like that crazy twin problematic gay boy but like keeps it real like that's me um so i don't know how to explain myself but anyways and that's why i love rylan adams so much is because like i'm literally him in real life like we're both like similar in age we're both millennials and like i have that twink body i'm literally five feet five and a half just like him he's a little bit more skinnier than me but like i'm trying to lose weight so like i don't know man like, just like picture me as like rylan adams in real life but like a super sassy like problematic twink sassy gay dude whatever you want to call me like that's i don't know that's why i want to call my fucking username psychic or not ugh, psycho gay boy so like please like understand where i'm coming from and don't judge it don't be a karen so i don't know i'm trying to think but i'm gonna get on with the goddamn video but literally i'm trying to uh hurry up because like the longer i make this video it's gonna be like fucking so long to edit so i know that i rumble a lot it, it is what it is but um i'm gonna take a quick drink of tea and then i'm gonna carry on with this video so one sec i'm gonna pause it really, really fast Okay, so basically, um, it starts, like, the vlog is basically their journey of how they found out that, you know, the date that they were having twins and just what us fans wanted to see. So he, they start off the vlog with them, like, sitting on the, their couch and just explaining how excited they are. And they uh, go to their kitchen and they talk about how their donor mom or um, the donor um, of the, the mom of their two twin boys, like, um th she was getting ready to have the babies and he didn't and rylan adams already booked the their hotels so he was just wondering like um if he, 
he should book it earlier and she said yeah actually the doctor said that um you should probably book it tomorrow and then like i watched this whole thing like five times already because i've just i love them so much and like there was nothing really else going on um but literally um it goes on to them like traveling to i think it was like seattle i'm not sure (laughs) even though i watched it five times i'm not sure but they they took a plane to visit their twin boys i honestly thought that their twin boys were going to be born in like los angeles or something like that but it was in like a completely different city because right now they're living in los angeles in their huge mansion but literally um they go and they arrive there and um they end up meeting their twin boys and it was really sentimental and sweet and then you know um they ended up like staying in the room and ryan took a shower in the room that that scene shocked me because i didn't know that like you could like stay there for two days and you can take a shower i didn't know that um they had showers there i was really shocked by that and then basically it was just really cute because they were like totally infatuated with their twin boys and you can see how much they love them and it was just so such a beautiful thing honestly and um me being a gay dude like i appreciate like stuff like this so um literally um they that's basically it and then they just uh explained that you know they're not going to show that much of their babies they're just going to show like a little bit because they don't want to be like trish Bates, basically who shows who does everything for attention and views and like i don't know she's just a gross disgusting person and i really don't understand why people keep giving her chances after she like will always like do the same shit over again and by the way since we're talking about trisha Paytas, like she's pregnant right so i'm pretty sure like i'm gonna get so much hate for this but i don't even care this girl is like this girl is crazy i really don't like her at all like i'm pretty sure she takes like pills like because she's been known to take like prescription pills that's not necessary and um like I don't even want to say, but, you know, like, really bad pills that you should not take for your mental health. Like, you should just be your natural self and keep it real like me. Like, I don't take any pills. Like, just be real and just, like, I hate when people take pills for them to, like, um, deal with, like, personal issues. It's, like, just deal with it naturally because, like, it's just, like, I. what I'm thinking is going to sound lame and corny, but I know this guy named Matt Frazier Oh, I don't know him in real life, but he's a real psychic medium. And hello, my username is Psychic Boy, so I'm into like psychic stuff. And he actually made me a top fan on Facebook and replies to some of my comments. He knows who I am, and I love him so goddamn much, Matt Fraser. If you're ever listening to this right now, which you probably aren't, but like, just know that this is out there. But literally, um, he says that, like, when we trans, like, this is like I said, this is gonna sound lame and corny, but it is what it is. I keep it real, but he was making this video where like when souls like transfer to heaven after they pass away and he's a real psychic medium like look him up on youtube like he's a fabulous person and um like i'm crying right now like but he says that like there's no alcohol in in heaven so there's like if there's no alcohol there's probably not gonna be any prescription pills um so just keep it real and natural like i hate people who like cheat in life and take pills and it's just in the end the pills are just gonna make you have even more mental issues because you should just deal with it naturally because once you're natural like me you don't need anything like this is being natural is the long run like there's no alcohol there's no pills in heaven so just keep it real like you are now because your natural self will be your natural self in heaven but trisha paytas literally takes all these disgusting pills and like she's just so annoying because like she's pregnant bro and that's must not be good for her child and like it's just she's a disgusting person she's not promoting anything good you know those type of pills that deal with like mental issues like she i'm pretty sure you're not allowed to take those when you're pregnant and you should not take those at all in general because like i said it's better just to deal with it naturally in the long run and you'll get farther in life and like i just feel bad for her baby because she's literally pregnant and she's taking all these prescription pills and it's clear and obvious like look how she's acting like nobody acts like that naturally in real life like i go out like almost every day in real life i have a life and i know how people are and that's not how people are like she's just so fake and phony and it's just 
I don't understand, like, how people keep giving her fucking chances. It just makes no fucking sense at all to me. But I really do feel like the trash takes itself out and, you know, karma is real. So I really have nothing to worry about. Like, people will literally just are scoring with their mental health if they're, if they're, like, continuing to, like, support her and be fans with her. But, like, look at Colleen, for God's sakes. Colleen made a goddamn podcast with her and they agreed to do the podcast together. And then, like, Colleen literally got... it extreme bad karma she was the worst drama of 2023 and that's honestly because the karma of her trusting trisha paytas like don't do not trust her she's just a bad bad person but anyways um i'm rambling and rylan adams bro like he he's like look at him and me like we're both the same we don't take any like we keep it real we don't take any fucking prescription pills and you can tell shane takes prescription pills as well like you can see it in his eyes like it's just weird like I don't, like, ugh, I don't understand, but he's not, like, a girl, like, he's he's not pregnant, so even so, you shouldn't take it, like I said, just deal with it naturally, but anyways, um, like, like I said, Matt Frazier said that there's no, like, alcohol, there's no prescription pills in heaven, so, like, your soul lasts forever once we pass away, like, like, I sound lame and corny, but it's just the truth, bro, so, anyways, um, that's the end of this video, I'm just happy that they made a goddamn vlog, because I've been wanting to see the whole process of them, you know, delivering their babies and seeing them for the first time, and it's just adorable as a gay guy, like I said, this is, like, I'm all about like gay culture and I support the LGBT obviously so that being said I'm trying to think of anything else to say um basically that's it like it wasn't they didn't like go out and like anything they were just that's basically it so yeah um it was number one on trending like I said so I guess that's the end of this video and if they continue to make more videos I will be updating them soon and I you know, I really hope that, I'm pretty sure that they do watch my videos, because I do make a lot of videos about them, and, um, yeah, and actually, Rylan Adams, he gave me a heart, like, I made a comment on one of his videos, and he gave me a heart, so, I don't know, maybe he does watch my videos, but I really love Rylan Adams, because I'm literally him in real life, like, we both are, like, millennials, or short little twinks, and I'm literally his height, I'm, like, five feet five and a half, for real, so, if he's listening to me right now, and you want, like, your gay best friend, or, like, your twin, or something like that, just to, like, I mean, this is the universe saying that, this is us aligning to that we have to be friends rather than because we're both the same people and you just had twins and like if you want someone to support you as a fellow twin because there's not many of us out there um i hopefully you don't mind my super sassy attitude but just know that i'll always have your back and i love you so much and god bless you and congratulations on being trending number one on youtube and there's cars honking outside so i'm just gonna go and look forward to the next video i'm gonna make because it's gonna be even crazier than this so rather than if you want to keep up with me, keep up with me, bro, and subscribe or just comment that you love my videos or something so I know that you're there. Okay, you probably won't, but, you know, it's best just to, like, stay positive and just believe. Okay, peace out. Subscribe if you are a Shane Dawson Rylan Adams fan and you want to know more. I can't even fucking talk. No more about my personality. Peace out.